Our last topic for this module has to do with configuring name suffix routing. And name suffix routing is just another mechanism for you in a forest trust to be able to determine which name suffixes are going to get uh, passed across that trust to the other location. Let me bring up here our Active Directory domains and trusts once again, and I'm going to take a look at the properties of the domain, and then again at the properties of the trust. And you'll see here a little tab up at the top called Name Suffix Routing. Now, in an environment where we do have multiple different name suffixes, these are the name suffixes that we would have created previously as alternative user principal names. We'll find here the list of those that are actually routed to the other half of the forest. Here's star.specialized.net. It may be easier if you actually see these if I pop over here to the other side of the trust on the specialized.net side so that I can show you under name suffix routing we have both company.com and company.pri. Now when we have this trust established between these two different locations you may not necessarily want that name suffix to pass across or the ability to use that name suffix to pass across to the other side of the trust. When that's the case you just simply disable this alternate name suffix here by clicking the disabled button. You may want this if you don't want the people over in that other location to either get confused by the additional UPNs, uh, UPN suffixes. You may not want them to be aware of the additional UPN suffixes, but this essentially prevents you from passing those across that trust.